This mural was painted by the brilliant artist, Jonas Never. Let's hear it for Jonas Never. He worked on this, we just spoke, he worked on this for well over a month and a half, and this was actually during the Lakers playoffs. So he would rush to go see the games, he'd rush to Buffalo Wild Wings or home just to catch a game while he's working on this brilliant masterpiece behind us. So thank you, Jonas, we are here and we are so excited for your work. Not only that, we're here to celebrate so much. We're, cele we're here to celebrate not only the history, but the future of Koreatown. We're also celebrating the Lakers' 75th anniversary and the power of partnerships. All of this, Lakers Town, is brought to us today by Bibigo, which is the number one Korean food brand globally. The Los Angeles Lakers and Bibigo partnered back in September of 2021. And this powerful partnership is two global, iconic brands that come together that value not only the process, they value excellence and bringing people together. So before we officially unveil this amazing mur mural, we have some phenomenal speakers here with us today. So let's get this started. Yeah. I'm proud to invite our first speaker to the stage who is currently the Vice President of Charitable Affairs for the Los Angeles Lakers and Executive Director of the Lakers Youth Foundation. She is responsible for implementing the mission of the foundation, which is to assist underserved youth in our communities, to develop and recognize their potential by providing positive experiences and resources in education, health and wellness, and sports. She has received numerous community service and humanitarian awards, and she was recently recognized in Ebony Magazine's Power 100 list in the category of Community Crusaders. She strives to uphold the Lakers' reputation of being champions of the community. On and off the court, please welcome Keisha Nix. Good afternoon, everyone. I am so excited to be here. I know it's a little gloomy out in the city, but it is bright where we are, okay? Oh, as Octavia said, this is a historic day for us. I mean, to be here in K-Town, to be here with all of you, to be standing here with our global food partner, Bibigo, Schwanz. I mean, this is something that we've dreamed about for a while, and now it's finally here. So we're excited to be here. We didn't want to just be here and unveil the beautiful mural, but we also wanted to make sure that we did something to make a lasting impact in Koreatown. This is just a historical place, and I'm so excited that the Lakers, the Lakers Youth Foundation, and our global partner could put a, put, could put a footprint, a big footprint, because they, they wear some big shoes down there. And we can put that here and be of service to our community. We have a rich history in the Los Angeles community, but there's nothing like partners and partnerships. There's nothing like team and teamwork. And so that's what we're here to celebrate today. So not only are we here to unveil the mural, but we're also gonna highlight a couple of community partners. And so together with BBGo, we looked, we looked at our existing community partners and where we already do work in K-Town. And then we looked at new community partners. How can we really make an impact? And so what we decided was to find two more dynamic duos to kind of add to the wall here, the wall of fame. So the dynamic duos that we settled on were Ola, which is heart of Los Angeles. We have a longstanding relationship with Ola. They have a Lakers gym. We have used that for so many community projects. So many youth are able to come out, get basketball, health and fitness, and really learn to play the Lakers way right here in our own community. And then we looked a little further and decided that we were gonna spark up a new partnership. We wanted to put some roots in the ground here. And so we found KYCC. Yes, KYCC, Koreatown Youth Community Center. And we're so excited because those two organizations were already working together. So they already got the memo. 
we just had to bring them out here to show you. So we are very excited. I don't want to steal all the thunder because I know my partner, Mark Goldman, is coming up in a second. But we want to announce what we want to do here for those community organizations and how we can make a lasting impact. This is not just about today. This today is just the start of what we're going to do in the future. OK, are you ready? Come on up, Mark. Thank you so much. Hey, what a great day for Koreatown and KYCC and the entire community of Los Angeles. Thank you so much for being here today. You know, when BB Go and the Lakers teamed up two years ago for this uh, global partnership, we promised two things, culture and community. Um, and so it's only fitting that, you know, Jonas's dynamic duos, Mural, is what we're here to unveil today because we really think that we've started to create this partnership in the spirit of a dynamic duo. You know, there's two globally recognized brands here, BBGo and the Lakers, and we're working together to build cultural bridges, to introduce more fans to delicious Korean food and Korean culture all over the world. Uh, and BBGo is the flagship, you know, Korean brand of the largest food company in Korea, CJ Shiljidong and the U.S. affiliate Schwann's company. So we're incredibly proud to be here, to bring our experience, to bring the Lakers uh, experience to this great, great town of Koreatown. You know, we're in business to create joy and connections through food uh, and strengthening the communities that we all live and work in every single day. Um, and nowhere is that mission more important than here in Koreatown, um, which shares so many roots with Korea and the, the people of Korea. So today we're, we're incredibly proud to announce that we're joining with the Lakers Youth Foundation to support the critical work of KYCC uh, in expanding its ability to feed so many children through its bi-monthly food bank program. And together we are going to be expanding the Menlo Apartments kitchen to be able to serve more people on a daily basis who are in need of, of food and sustenance. And what a great way to make sure that it's not just about today in the mural, but it's about a lasting impact on this community. And then, thank you. And we wanna keep kids active. And keeping kids active is how we're going to work together through HOLA to start a youth sports program for kids after school so that they can be active, they can have a place to go, a place to develop, a place to grow, and a place to feel safe. Um, and we know these programs are going to continue to help make this whole community flourish and grow for years to come. Just like we know that Jonas's mural is going to be a destination for people all over the world to come here and make sure that Koreatown is a must-see destination. We want this mural to be a magnet so people come here to celebrate all there is about this great community. So on behalf of our entire BBGO team around the world, I wanna thank all of you for being here. I wanna thank uh, the Lakers for joining us in this important work. And most importantly, I wanna congratulate and thank KYCC and Ola for joining us in supporting the Koreatown community. So thank you very much. And we want to welcome up uh, both KYCC and Ola. We want to have Tony Brown, the CEO of Ola, to come up, as well as uh, Francesca LaRue from KYCC. We'll let ladies first. Yeah, absolutely. I'll get <laughs> you my partner, huh? <laughs> Um, hello, everyone. I am so excited to be here, so incredibly blessed um, to represent KYCC, Koreatown Youth and Community Center. We have been at the heart of Koreatown for the past 48 years, and we serve over 11,000 people on any given year. This is an incredible partnership, and thank you so much for being a part of our growing support of the community. Um, we are just overjoyed, um, our youth are excited, our partner with Ola, I mean, this is just an incredible day, and isn't this just an incredibly beautiful mural? Thank you so very much. I love it. And likewise, I'm the CEO of Heart of Los Angeles, 
We've been in the community for 34 years. We've learned a lot and continue to by, uh, from our partner over here at KYCC. Listen, there's, a, there's an old proverb, right, that says if you want to go fast, go alone, but if you want to go far, go together. And I'm so excited because I love partnering with KYCC. There are a lot of kids and families in this very dense part of the, the town who are following the queue of Great Lakers before us of working together to accomplish great things. So we're gonna do this through food and we're gonna do this through sport and we're gonna unite. And we're excited to show this city, to this part of the city, to all of the Angelinos who will come to visit. Thank you for including us in this great day. All right, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Another round of applause for Ola and KYCC. And if you stick around, you're gonna see youth from both of their organizations. We're gonna have a demonstration and a health and fitness clinic later on today. So we're so excited about that. And then before I bring the next speaker up, I just wanna say a special, special thank you to Aaron Pack of CARE. Aaron, thank you for being our friend and our advocate. We could not have done all of this without you. And now it is my pleasure to introduce our next speaker. She is the daughter of parents that were public servants. She's a third generation Angelino. She's the mother of one son, which we have in common. She has served California in the state legislature for the 30th Senate District. And those are just some of the facts about Supervisor Mitchell. But what I know about her on a personal level is that she shows up and she shows out for her community. I don't know a harder working woman in politics because everywhere you turn, she's there. She doesn't just send someone, she actually shows up. And it really speaks volumes of her integrity and the woman that she is. And when we called on her for today, she looked in her closet and found her Lakers gear. She didn't go far because she's a Lakers fan. You can see it yourself. Supervisor Holly Mitchell. I told her I didn't have to look far because I still got my purple nails from the playoffs. So see, I don't mess around. I don't mess around. Hello, Los Angeles. Hello, Koreatown. Uh, I am thrilled to be here for a variety of reasons. Uh, you heard that I'm a third generation native Angelino. So my father's dynamic duo predated my dynamic duo. But when I look at this mural, it reflects kind of the generations of my own family. Um, you know, I grew up at the then Great Western Forum, going with my dad um, to see your Lakers, sir. And my son has grown up the same way. I am proud to say that you are sitting in the second supervisorial district. I represent Koreatown. I'm also proud to say that the second district is home to Magic Johnson Park in South Los Angeles. And so the Lakers and the Lakers history um, and the, the people who make up the Lakers history are rich in the second district and I'm very proud to represent you each and every day. We are blessed as a city and county to truly be the sports capital of the world. Um, other cities and counties try to claim it, but we know it's us right here in Los Angeles. And so it's amazing to see sports and the Lakers making an impact on multiple generations of Angelinos, bridging our communities just like the reflection of those who make Koreatown home, um, and it's a common thread of support. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart for your support of both of these amazing organizations that make, um, create opportunities for children and families to thrive right here in Los Angeles. So I tip my hat to both. I spent a half a day last week at the KYCC Child Care Center on Crenshaw. They are the future of Los Angeles. And to be in a child care facility, let me just say, where we are seeing young Korean American, African American, and Latino, Latino children um, learning each other's language and understanding each other's culture um, and language and food in such an um, innate way is what Los Angeles looks like and is going to be the future of our city. And they make me very proud. So again, the partnership with BBGo, revamping and expanding the food bank uh, at KYCC's kitchen that serves families, seniors, and young people is so important. And uh, Ola's contribution really, again, is what makes LA thrive. The mural is legendary. 
Laker Town is legendary, Koreatown is legendary, and those two community-based organizations and the corporate sponsors are legendary as well. It gives me great pride to join with my sister on the city council, another duo. We're bridging city and county government. Look at that. Um, that's how we rock here in Los Angeles, and it's great to see everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you, Keisha. All right, let's hear it one more time for KYCC. Ola, BB Go, and Ms. Holly Mitchell. All right, it is my privilege to introduce our next speaker, who is the first woman in history to represent the 10th district, and <laughs> the first black woman to be appointed as a voting member of the city council. Born and raised in Los Angeles, she has dedicated over 30 years of public service to her community. She will continue to serve and promises to make her constituents proud to call District 10 their home. Please, let's welcome Heather Hutt. Thank you. Welcome to the 10th District, everybody. Koreatown is the 10th District. Laker Mural is the 10th District. And we're going to name this parking lot after the Lakers. We're going to name it Laker Town. Laker, I, I'm a Showtime Laker girl, but <laughs> I don't know if we want to name this the Showtime lot. Y'all tell me. But I talked to the GM, Connie Anos, who's here with us today, of the Department of Transportation. And since this is a destination, we have to name the whole space, right? So maybe you could tell me what you want. Or, Captain, you could tell me what you want to see. But we're going to make some change right here so the full destination is acknowledged. And we just want to thank the Lakers. I want to thank Keisha Nix and, and Chris, pa I mean, Aaron Pack. I said Chris because her husband wanted to be a Laker. And it did. Because my sister didn't beef up his stats. It didn't happen. I just want to thank you for bringing this idea to the office and saying, hey, let's do it in the 10th district. Let's do something exciting to acknowledge the Lakers' contribution. And... Thank you so much for making that happen. I didn't think it was going to be this big, but it's the Lakers. I should have known it was going to be this big. <laughs> They're world-renowned, and we're really proud of the work that you've done and the work that you're going to continue to do. I also want to thank Kelsey, the Director of Global Partnership, Bibigo, the sponsor of the Lakers, and your global food brand that's going to help right here in Koreatown when you do work with KYCC. Tony from, uh, from Ola, that's my happy place. He already knows. I go there to chill. I want to thank my partner. She bought me the hat, y'all. Supervisor Holly Mitchell. She said, I got something for you. And it just so happened. I didn't have to look far for, for the purple. So thank you. Let me see. Jonas, man, you have an eye. And you have a heart. And we're just so happy that you put all of that out here. You know, I, my, I have some kids that are artists. I have three kids, so some kids. And, and um, I am a little disturbed with their art. But another artist let me know that your parents put something in you that makes you feel like you need to share it with the world. And that's what you did right here. So we appreciate your work. We appreciate your heart. We certainly appreciate our Lakers and all the work they do. Thank you, Jonas. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. All right, we do have one more speaker, and I am beyond honored to introduce. He is an author, NBA Hall of Famer, six-time NBA champion, Presidential Medal of Freedom winner, advocate of social justice, cancer research, and civil rights among many, many, many more accolades. He is a Lakers icon that revolutionized the game on and off the court. Please help me in welcoming Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Welcome, everybody, and uh, thank you for the wonderful 
introduction. This is uh, what you call a sneak attack. They didn't tell me I had to speak today. <laughs> so I, I don't know what to, to say other than welcome, and it's really wonderful to see this mural, although I am a little bit jealous that Kobe got two, <laughs> two images, and me and Magic are over there on the side like that. <laughs> what can you do, you know? I, I gotta keep persevering, but no. Uh, hey, the image is extraordinary, thank you. And i um, very happy to be a part of it. And I wanted to thank uh, the people at BB Joe and uh, the Lakers for putting this whole thing together. It's really class. They even got porta potties out here. Wow, I didn't know we were gonna stay that long. <laughs> no, but really, it's, um, it's a real pleasure to be a part of this and uh, to know that efforts like this are expanding. I was uh, involved when the, Wakers, when the Lakers set up a computer room for uh, young people for their after uh, school uh, activities and to, and to help them on their way to college. And uh, I got my own foundation, the, the Skyhook Foundation. We're trying to get Angelino kids to go to college and come out and be engineers or scientists and stuff like that. Oh, thank you. So um, for all of you folks that are out there doing stuff like that, keep up the good work. Um, if you haven't seen it, I've seen it. Uh, the, the fruit of our good work is the young people that are smiling and doing good things with their lives. And um, I'm, glad, I'm really happy that uh, they're putting a, a lot behind it. You know, it, it, it's, it, it does bear fruit and uh, we all benefit from it. So uh, that's it from me. Thank you, BB Joe. And uh, thank you, Lakers. And um, I think we're going to be able to get out of here before we get wet. <laughs> All the best, everybody. Let's hear it one more time for Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. <laughs> now we are going to do our official unveiling of the mural. So all that are, on, are involved, please come up to the stage, and we will do our ribbon cutting. <laughs> <laughs>